Distribution issues continue across New York State and here in the Mohawk Valley. Although one more COVID vaccine pod opened earlier this week in Oneida County, two others have had to close down. The lack of available doses have local officials frustrated and wondering why the state won't distribute them equally. Our reporter Jasmine Allen breaks down what the county is asking the state to provide. After receiving only 500 COVID vaccines from the state yesterday, Oneida County has temporarily closed their pods at MVCC and here at Griffiths. Now the governor will say we don't have enough because the federal government didn't give us enough. They gave them enough for them and in doing so took it away from us took it away from the counties. Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacenti goes on to say that opening more pods is great, but not if the vaccines aren't distributed fairly. We asked, how does the state decide how many doses to give each location? Well, they will tell you it's, it's uh, on a per capita basis, but that doesn't make any sense to me. If we started out in the first week with 3,000 doses, 1,300 the second week, 500 this week. I don't know what the logic is. Pacenti says between both locations, they put out 500 vaccines a day and says they have the capacity to pump out even more. Give me 3,500 a week. Give me 4,000 a week. Right now for these two pods. If that's all you want me to operate right now, give me 4,000 a week. We'll get them out the door. Mayor Robert Palmieri adds it should be less about who's running the pods and more about getting the vaccines in the arms of New Yorkers. It comes to a certain time and we're at the time done with pointing the fingers. Let's just get it done. Let's let's make sure that the people, our residents have the ability to get the vaccine. For now, the pods will have to keep their doors closed until they can get more doses. Pacenti is hoping that they can reopen by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Reporting, Jasmine Allen, Eyewitness News. Yes,